We're bringing back a calculation we've used uh, quite a few times here, uh, the calculation of work now applied to gases. So up until this point, we've really just done work with solids. So it's a little different uh, uh, application of, of the concept, but uh, it has the same meaning. You know, how many joules of energy we put into this system or how many joules of, system, uh, of energy this system puts out um, by applying some force over some distance. So we're going to use the same, uh, first off, I, I should point out that right now we're just looking at constant pressure systems or isobaric systems. Now certainly we can do work on gases or have gases do work when they aren't constant pressure. Um, we just aren't going to deal with those quite yet. We'll get to those in a little bit. Um, so work, as we've been using it before, is equal to force times the distance over which that force acts. Uh, now with gases, we haven't been dealing much with force. We've really been working instead with uh, pressure, which is the force per unit area. So in this system, we could rearrange the equation to get force is equal to pressure times area. And the area that we're talking about is uh, the area over which that force is applied. So in the case of a piston here, the piston would have a cross-sectional area of A. And then either the piston is being pushed down with a force F, or the gas is pushing up on the piston with a, a force F, uh, with a, a net force F. So if I take this expression for force and bring it back to our work equation, work now is equal to the pressure times the area times the distance. Now, the area of this thing, say this is a, a cylinder, so pi r squared for the, the cylinder, um, for the, the circle there. Um, that area times this distance that the, uh, the cylinder moves, that's going to give us a value that's, let's see, we have this area here times the distance well, that's actually the same as the equation for the volume of this green cylinder. And that volume right there represents the amount that the volume of the space available to the gas has changed from here to here. So area times distance, we can just write that as volume, or in this case we'll write it as change in volume, not the initial volume or the starting volume, but the change in the volume of the uh, um, uh, of the space that's available to that gas. So to get work, if we have a constant pressure situation, we just do the constant pressure times the change in volume. Now just a, a couple of sign conventions here. Work is positive when we do work on the system. So when we do work on the gas, that corresponds with compressing the gas. We're pushing on the gas to make it compress. And then work is negative when uh, the gas does work on the surroundings. and that is an expansion. So that's, that's just a convention on signs, but it is the one that, um, that you'll be expected to use on the AP test, so um, don't ignore that, uh, um, that part of it. Um, so when we do work on the gas, we're giving it more energy. We're transferring energy from the outside to the inside to, to this gas system. And the amount of energy that we're transferring is equal to this work, which is the amount of pressure in the gas times the change in volume. Now, it's worth noting here, we'll come back to this idea later on, but if we had a pressure versus volume graph for this, um, since it's a, a constant pressure situation, we're changing the, the volume without changing the pressure, this equation, P times delta V, let's say if we started at a volume here, initial, 
and end it at a volume here, that's our final, then P times delta V, that would just be the area of this rectangle right here. So from that we can see, at least in this case, it turns out we can generalize this, that the area under the curve of a PV graph or a PV diagram, we'll call them later, is equal to the work. Now again, we have to um, uh, have to be careful about direction here. So if we go from small volume to a large volume, like uh, like I have this one drawn, then that's an expansion. So this would be a negative amount of work. If we switched this around and started here at a large volume and went to uh, a final point over here at a small volume, that's a compression. We're doing positive work on the gas then instead of the gas doing work on the surroundings. Uh, so we'll continue to, uh, to work with work and gases in these calculations and uh, we're definitely going to see more of these PV diagrams as well and make some more calculations with those. Now this area under the curve business, if you've done calculus before, uh, you know that's just the, the integral of P uh, with respect to V. If you haven't done calculus, that's fine. They'll always just give us these simple cases. So um, you know, you'll be able to solve the area just using things like length times width and one half base times height and so that's that's just fine.